like to bring up another um, speaker. Not, he's not a stranger to you. You've met him. Many of you all have probably spoken with him. Coach Mike. <laughs> Coach, yeah, Coach Mike. <laughs> Coach Mike. Who, who, me? Yes, you. <laughs> so what you guys don't know, many of you all have probably spoken to Coach Mike in the DMs or in the group, but what you don't know and what I never said is that Coach Mike is a graduate of the Author Made Easy Boot Camp as well. And so I'm going to let him tell the story because he was already a published author before he came in. So go ahead, Coach Mike. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you, do you have your book? I know, yes. you, I know you always, you always still point. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So before I get to my book, I was a broke best-selling author before. <laughs> and, and I say that very seriously. Best-selling author, wasn't making any money. Like many of you said, many of yourselves, you connected with people who weren't experts, who claimed that they were going through this process, got with them, went through, you know, everybody know. When you have some of those funnels, some of some principles are fundamental, so you'll hit certain marks and do certain things, but didn't have a target audience, um, didn't have a plan on what to do after the book was dropped. I was just excited to have a title to say, hey, I'm an author. But then once all of that faded away, um, family and friends bought the book to support. Um, I didn't have anybody to sell the book to because it wasn't written to someone. So the book was titled Purpose Pioneers, How to Overcome Adversity, Survive Setbacks, and Thrive on Purpose. All of those words were very cute, but they meant nothing because they didn't talk to anyone. Um, and so uh, I had saw Jasmine, or we were connected because we were in um, a few personal development groups together. And so I saw her... And I actually reached out and we had a consult before, but at that time I was definitely not in the mindset uh, and framework. And um, so I, I definitely did move forward then. Um, I was like, yeah, she's very serious. And, and my mindset, well, I wasn't ready to put in the work then. Um, but then later uh, the pandemic happened. And um, for my lane, I work with athletes. And um, one of the things that happened with the pandemic was I witnessed uh, a lot of athletes experience, which I coached high school basketball for the last uh, uh, 12 years. But when those athletes weren't able to play sports and they took it away from them, I witnessed a lot of them get in a whole lot of turmoil, identity crisis, things were happening. And God was tugging on me. This is the time now. You have no excuses. And so um, I'm one of those people like some of us may be. You know, I, I try to uh, go to YouTube University to figure out everything. And... Um, just hurt my head because none of the stuff was matching and um, I don't mind trying to figure out some stuff and do things wrong but I knew that this was my baby this was something that God has given me and I knew that if he gave me the gift I had to honor it with my best and me going to YouTube and doing different things was not my best it was me trying to figure it out on my own and so um, I didn't know uh, everything talked to Jasmine and um it was i told her it is the thing yeah i don't know about y'all we got on the call i said jasmine um truth be told i know that i'm supposed to do this and i'm going to do it with you you don't have to convince me you are the best in the game so uh i didn't give a chance to start talking i was like i know i want to do this i know you're the best i'm not supposed to do it with you um tell me what i need to do <laughs> and that's how it was that was it was just one of those things right and so um uh, got inside of the program um in january of last year uh, and so in February, we went through the three day um, program to write your book. Uh, you're looking at somebody who uh, wasn't the best, so to speak, at English in, in college. So I had some mindset issues, not that I have any deficiencies or anything like that. It was just I was so used to um, doing the minimum things and getting by and using my charisma with females to give me the answers that it was like, okay, it's a rude awakening now. Uh, so I had those mindset issues, but having the ability to complete my book in three days, it was mind blowing for me uh, to get my book. Um, now I will be honest with you, day one of the workshop, my head was hurting. Um, I had to like put everything down because I was, I was like, I paid this money and I was fighting the process. I was still trying to do things on my own. Y'all know how it is. You get a coach, you get somebody, but you still want to do what you want to do. I was fighting and at that moment. I was like, okay, God, I I'm completely going to trust everything that Jasmine and the team is saying. Um, and then I had the ability um, to 
uh, to write my book, uh, When the Ball Goes Flat, An Athlete's Guide to Rise Up and Pursue Purpose After Sports. That sounds a whole lot better than that first uh, title of the child. <laughs> you have a copy of your book with you, Cole? Absolutely. Right, uh, right oh. here. The design was better, too, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> a whole lot better so yes absolutely um i do i'll stop there because i don't know if you want to ask a different question because i'll keep talking oh no you can keep talking because <laughs> you <laughs> you answered a lot of the questions he doesn't know which questions i'm gonna ask either guy gotcha i love it <laughs> all right cool so uh so after after that right after writing my book now i'm gonna tell you uh i was one of those individuals who was the best kept secret um truth be told i have a lot of gifts a lot of, a lot of talent but i'm a servant at heart i love to serve people and put people in front of me. That's just how I've always been, right? Uh, and so with the book, I was not, I was no longer able to hide. So even in my lane, I had relationships and connections, but they didn't see me um, as an expert or an authority figure because I was always behind the scene, right? So when writing the book, Jasmine gave us many formulas on how to get connected with the media, um, how to create an omnipresence, and what that means is the illusion that you're everywhere. And so with those formulas, I began to get media interviews back to back. And now those same individuals that I was trying to, you know, those same coaches and um, those AD superintendents I was trying to connect with, that they didn't probably respond to my emails or they weren't as interested then. Now the game was totally different now. Now we were able to uh, select meetings. Now we're, now we're getting more speaking engagements now because now I'm looked at, I'm, I'm seen as an authority figure. I have a book, I'm having media interviews, um, having events and things that are lined up. And now I'm a problem solver. This is the big thing. At first I was a motivator. I wanted to inspire the world, <laughs> but now I'm a problem solver. Um, and I was speaking specifically to my direct audience um uh, i i'll stop there because i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i don't know where we're going next do i so do one I of the things continue? i know about you um <laughs> is that when you initially came into the boot camp um you had you were coaching a couple of people with speaking mm -hmm. and um we made some adjustments so what were some of the adjustments that you made and what were your results love it okay cool so um Yes, I was uh, coaching people because I had been speaking for a while, um, went through many programs and different things like that, learning the ins and outs. And so it's natural when people see you doing stuff, they're like, hey, how are you doing that? I want to do that as well. And I'm like, yeah, I put a lot of blood, sweat, tears, got a lot of nose, put a lot of money. I'm not about to take you through all of this for free. I'm sorry. Uh, I love you and I'm a servant, but we're not about to do this for free. And so I had people paying me $50 a month. Y'all couldn't tell me nothing. I'm winning. First of all, I, I would do it for free, but you're giving me $50 a month. But I knew once you get exposed to Jasmine, you get exposed to a lot of information. You're like, wait, why am I shortchanging myself? Because, you know, I, I have schools that are at a minimum paying me $2,500 uh, to come in and do a, a professional development or training. And, and I'm charging you $50 to give you the information that's going to change your life. Absolutely not. Um, and so um, I had the gift. Uh, I, I had the hustle but I didn't have the structure. I didn't have the frameworks in place. Um, and, and once, all I needed was that. Once I went through one of our programs called Coaching Currency, Lord, it's laid out so easy. Mm -hmm. Now that I, I'm able to articulate to those same individuals who was okay with paying those $50, they, that's, that's, that's one thing. If somebody's gonna pay you something uh, and then don't blink, you, you ain't charging enough. And that was happy. That was happy to have those recurring invoices going, uh, coming to me. Um, and so created the framework, created the coaching program. And now that I was able to, here's the thing. Um, we had different, um, the breakdown with all. So at that point in time, I never had to do deal with like sales scripts, sales calls, all that good stuff. Well, it was all in there laid out step by step. So I didn't have to think about anything. Right. Um, so I had the framework, right. Y'all. So now I'm articulating myself to that same group of people, low hanging fruit, because you all have heard that before I was able to touch that low hanging fruit and the same clients who I had that were paying me $50 a month. I don't mind telling y'all because the price ain't the same since then anyways, but at that particular time, I went from $50 a month to $1,500 for my, my coaching program. And they enrolled with ease. I had about uh, three people at the time uh, when I made that, that jump after going through everything and getting that squared away. Uh, and they enrolled with ease. And I was thinking to my, I was mad at myself, y'all, because it happened so smooth. 
I was like, y'all mean to tell me y'all would have paid this money a long time ago? How much money did I leave on the table? And and it all boiled back to when I was scared to to I ain't gonna say scared, but yeah, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I was scared to pay that invoice because I had invested on a lower level um for a long time, since about 2016. But this was one that challenged me. But I, I looked at my wife and I and I showed her everything, and she said to me that. She literally said, well, why are you showing me this? And I was like, because we won. She said, you do the work with every other investment. I trust you that you're going to do it with this one. You do the work with every other investment. I trust that you're going to do the work with this one. And so uh, I was mad at myself because it took me so long to take a leap and a jump to um, bet on myself at a different level, right? Uh, we hear the leaps and, and and have the faith and stuff like that. Not blindly. I knew that it was aligned with my vision and mission and the, the, my, vis- my vision and my mission and the things that I was praying to God for. And so how have things changed for you outside of like, yeah, of course you do some stuff with us here at the Impact Group, but how have things changed for you outside of that? Well, here's the thing. The first thing, and I know you you generally ask uh, students this, and I'll say because it's the biggest thing for me, was the uh, non-monetary um, gains and wins that that I had. And the biggest was confidence, right? Um, so for me, I was one of even when people will give me comp- compliments or certain things, I would always try to find a way to put it back on the team or someone else. And so for me to stand in in and my goodness, um, to stand and, and flex my muscles, um, it was a different level of confidence that, that I had, as well as the confidence to charge. Um, I, I don't want to say worth, because I know people that can be misconstrued different ways, depending on how you feel, but the confidence to charge for my expertise and not blink an eye and feel like I deserve it, right? Um, and that was a different level. You know, I've been on calls before, um, before I come to this program, when I'm speaking to principals, and when we get to talking about how much I want, my voice get a little shaky, I get a little bit nervous, and you know what I'm saying, I start talking too fast, and now it's like, no, I've made the investment, I put in the work, um, and, and I'm going to make you better because I'm solving problems, so that has been a, a game changer for me, um, the the opportunities that, that, I've, that I've gained, um, as far as my my network with my with decision makers and things like that, um, you know, has grown exponentially, and um, and more like more clients. There are people who I mean, you when we talk about do certain seasons, I'm the one who got a lot of ideas and different things. It's people who are kind of knocking on the door because I'm a thought leader now, and I, I'm operating as a thought leader. That I have certain things that I have I can't do right now just because of my life. Right when Jasmine says that you want to create a business that align with your life. My life having young babies right now, uh, the things that I can do with the knowledge that I do have, uh, I can't do certain things right now, but the things that I can do, uh, I'm executing those at a high level. And so for, like just having the ability to be seen as a thought leader, to be, to be seen as an expert and have the confidence uh, has mean the world to me because I was one of the people who did, who undervalued uh, the gifts that I had, who didn't see me as, uh, you know, worthy of the things that you see the people on social media doing. Although I was putting in the same work, making the same investments. I just didn't see it in me. Like many of you said, this workshop helped you to see that I can do it, right? So I cheer for everybody else, but have the ability to see and actually do it for myself uh, was game changer for me. Awesome, awesome. And can you tell everybody where to connect with you? And it's for those people who might want to purchase a copy of your book. Absolutely. Uh, now, if you want a little, <laughs> this is one thing you'll learn. If you want a little love with your book, you can get it on my personal website. Um, it is on Amazon, uh, right? But my personal website, and I'll put it in the chat, is michaelbarhamelevates.com. And I have the ability to, you know, sign the book and give you uh, some, some, some cute, encouraging words, maybe even give you a, a gift or something, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> from my, from my website. But you can also find it on Amazon as well. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks so much, Coach Mike.